Last night was like a point reached, like a stop in the movement of my life. It is why I move forward, for the sake of such stops. Like the moment when I first laid my eyes on her and knew that this moment would come. Knew that we both knew that, and we both wanted it. And some unstated way last night was what I am, what we both are. It was what fuels our consciousness of existence. We were united in an understanding beyond the violence, beyond the deliberate obscenity of my actions. Had she meant less to me, I would not have taken her as I did. Had I meant less to her, she would not have fought so desperately. The unrepeatable exaltation is knowing that we both understand this. She did not come today, but I did not expect her to come. My thoughts still linger on her. This impresses me. I watch these thoughts with curiosity. It is strange to be conscious of another person's existence, to feel it as a close, urgent necessity. A necessity without qualifications, neither pleasant nor painful, merely final, like an ultimatum. It is important to know that she exists in the world. It is important to think of her, of when she awakened this morning, of how she moved, with her body still mine, now mine, forever. I do not think of her often, but when I do, the thought is not a sudden recollection. It is the acknowledgement of a continuous presence that needs no acknowledgement. I want her. What is your name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeff? Jeff. I'm so confused. I know. I don't understand. I hate you. Everything I've ever known tells me that I should hate you. That I should have run away, that I should have cried for days. I did cry. But it didn't make sense to me why I was crying. It was as if I knew that I should be, but not in the way that I was. The only thing that seemed correct to me was that you were always there in my head, tormenting me. Not with suffering, but with confusion. With need. I don't understand. It was released so completely, and I don't know what to think. I just... I need you to tell me why. I need to know that what you felt, what your reasons were, were not just for you, but for me. That you were not selfish. Kat, it's okay. I'll explain to you and you'll understand. I knew where to find you and I waited. It amused me to wait because I knew the waiting was unbearable to you. Because you knew that this moment would come. I did not wait to take you, but to have you want me, even now. I knew my absence bound you to me in a way which was more complete than my presence could ever enforce. I was giving you time to attempt to escape in order to let you know your own helplessness when I chose to see you again. You would know that the attempt itself was of my choice, that it was only another form of mastery. Then you'd either be ready to kill me, or to come to me of your own will. I wanted the two acts to be equal in your mind. I wanted you brought to this, so I waited. I love you, Catherine. As selfishly as the fact that I exist, as selfishly as my lungs breathe air, I breathe for my own necessity, for the fuel of my body, for my survival. I give you not my sacrifice or my pity, but my ego and my naked need. This is the only way you can wish to be loved. This is the only way I can wish you to love me. Do you understand? You must learn not to be afraid of the world, not to let it hold you as it does now. I don't understand. I don't love you and I don't believe you. Maybe I understand what you think. I don't know, but I don't agree. I don't regret what happened. I trusted you. I think some part of me still does, and I don't know why. I understand that it was my actions as much as yours that led up to what happened. I'm 
so confused, Jeff. Because it's not what happened that scares me. It's how I reacted to it. It's the part of me that you brought out that scares me. I'm afraid because I don't understand me. Why are you afraid, Catherine? You ruined me! I made you what you've always known yourself to be. I've done for you what no one else could have done. Don't let the world take you and tell you who you are or who you should be. Catherine, you and I were made the same. No. You're wrong, Jeff. You were wrong to have picked me out, and I was wrong to have done the same. You were wrong to have said the things to me that you did. I am not who you are, or who you think I am. I was myself, and now you've taken that away. I'm going to spend the rest of my life forgetting about you, Jeff. You can never forget yourself, Catherine. This is who you are. Goodbye, Jeff. I love you, Catherine. Don't say that to me! Don't tell me that. Understand, I'll be here waiting. Goodbye, Catherine. In an empty room, she sits and waits for him to come. Two swollen ankles count the time. Nervous fingers trace across the cold and only arm. Yellowed walls receive her sigh. into the hollow air Her lips are trembling now Can't hear the voice she needs to hear